This is Mike Arison from Ferrite Products. We're going to be taking a look at one of the most basic but an extremely important concept to understand in EMI suppression. And that is the mode in which EMI presents itself. So we have two different modes here, common mode and differential mode. It'll present itself as one of these two. And we have little basic circuit diagrams here with a source or load on each one along with three ferrite suppression devices embedded in the circuit. Now our blue lines here represent our EMI in the two different modes. And we can see on common mode our EMI is being conducted down both lines into our load whereas in differential mode the EMI is opposed to one another down each line. Now, let's take a look at how these ferrite suppression devices are actually working to suppress EMI in these two different modes. Starting off with common mode. Since EMI is conducted in the same direction down both lines heading towards our load, we have three devices in this circuit. So these two are operating in differential mode. This one is operating in common mode. Now, what happens when you have currents going through a ferrite in opposite directions is the magnetic fields that they induce in the ferrite core will cancel each other out and the core will essentially be inert to the EMI or the current in the circuit. Because our EMI is moving down both lines, they're not going to cancel inside of the circuit, but we'll instead see the full impedance of this core here in common mode. Now, in differential mode, as we only have one line going through each core, these are also going to suppress the EMI, though we'll have to take into consideration other factors in the principal current and voltage that is going through our lines. Now differential mode, this core, because you have equal and opposite EMI and signal going through it, this is not going to suppress any EMI in a differential mode application. However, these two are. So when we're using ferrite for suppressing EMI in these two different modes, common mode can be suppressed either differentially or in a common mode sense. Differential mode EMI will only be suppressed by differential mode devices within that circuit. We won't go into it in this video, but there are other factors that need to be considered. Not so much with common mode as, again, our principal signal currents, voltages that we are not trying to suppress have no effect on a common mode core, but they will affect differential mode cores potentially in both differential mode and common mode applications. So those have to be considered when working with differential mode suppression. And just to give you a physical representation of what something like this looks like. We have a power cable here that has been stripped away to show differential mode and common mode. So starting off with common mode, this is a ferrite suppression core in common mode on this cable. Now it's in common mode because all the ground and the other conductors within this cable are all passing through this core here. And that's going to prevent it from affecting the principal signals that we don't want to suppress, but any EMI that's conducted in the same direction down these other conductors is going to be suppressed by this core. Now in differential mode, we have something like this. So the cable has been stripped back and each conductor separated with its own core on there. Now these cores are operating differentially, meaning they will suppress 
EMI regardless of where it's being conducted down the cables, but we do need to consider some other factors when working in this mode. With that, thank you for watching. Please check out our website and some of our other videos on our YouTube channel here. Thank you.